bunch of my buddies are here though. We rode around last night and tried to roost this turkey. We got one pegged in a tree. We were within a 30 yard circle. We walked up there and he gobbled when we were 50 yards from him so we know exactly where he is. So we're in here, it's about 4.30 right now. We're about to start walking to him and get under him and get close as possible before uh, he starts gobbling. So this is probably gonna be a fun hunt. So y'all stay tuned. Just shot, so hopefully he got it. Uh, I guess, dude, that sounded like it was a mile away.
Dang, you smoked him. You ate him all. It was over. When I saw his head, I knew it was over. Oh, he's got good spurs for man. Pretty turkey. That's awesome. What do you think about it? What did you think when he started gobbling at like... Oh, he was right by me. Oh, was he? Right by me. I couldn't see him. I had all these thick trees in front of me, and there were three hens that got down. Mm -hmm. All three hens came down, and I watched him come down right here. And that was when... Uh, did y'all hear him gobble right yeah, here? Yeah, that one time. Yeah. I wasn't but 20 yards from him, yeah. but I, he was over the hill. And I kept worrying about the hens. I would him and say, I'm about to try, I would hunt her. We were thinking about sinking him, but we were thinking about waiting there. Well, I didn't know. No, whenever I saw them go up that hill, I knew that all I could do was go for him. So that's what I did. We didn't know who, we thought he so was going to So he went that way. Yeah. They went, they went up right here, like kind of in the middle of that, and then they went straight down the back of that hill, and there's like a ridge that goes this way. So you can see them the whole time? No. When I went around here, it was kind of just a... No, like, but we Yeah, I could see them. I couldn't see them here. I saw them go down in here, and I didn't know how deep it was, so I was like, all right, I got to, I was like, I got to do something. And I started walking up, and I saw the hens right there. So, uh, oh, so they saw you. I don't know if they saw me or not. I looked at them and I saw them going up and I ducked back down, came around, went all the way up around. Like I said, when I saw him, when I knew, I thought I scared him. And I saw the hens walking off and I couldn't see him, but he was wet. He was like 30 yards behind him. Really? So I went back down and came up and as soon as I talked, he was right there looking at me. Was he strutting? Yeah, he strutted right here. Did he? You guys couldn't shoot him? him? Dang, Hunter, wish he got all on video too. I did tell you. No, that was cool. Pretty uh, fan though. Yeah. yeah. No, I have. That was hard. You're climbing up that right there, those rocks, all I was doing was slipping. I would have died if we had walked that road up here. I would have died. That would have took me two hours. You couldn't shoot him right there and strut? It was a little far? It was probably. So I, I, got, I ended up getting behind this pine tree and I thought I might be able to get quick enough or get close enough. I came up right here and like just army crawled all the way up to this pine, back behind that little pine tree by the fence. Yeah. And he was probably 80 yards. Oh, so you could let it fly. I crawled back down and went around, and I told myself I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and stalk. It worked out. It's my turn. She went off the so I gotta walk. Well, that's a plan, dude. That's a plan coming together. Yeah. Man, he gobbled. When I saw them come this way. All I thought was. <laughs> <laughs> so he was over the hill when he gobbled last. Yeah, he was up there. No, he was. No, he was right here. No, he gobbled again, like right here, like 20 well, yards. The last gobble we heard was up there. Yeah, I know, I know the last. That's what I'm saying. The last gobble, he was right here, right? Yeah. Right yeah. On the top of that hill over there. By the road? <laughs> on the other side of the road. They both, they went up right there. Oh! Shoot, dude. That's a hunt. That's a plan. It didn't happen exactly, <laughs> exactly right, but. I wasn't, but. It still happened, though. I wasn't, but probably 60 yards every gobble. Like that first one, I jumped a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, when I hit that soft, could you hear me soft jumping? Yeah. Yeah. We heard you at Tiger Foot Out. We were thinking. This was a lot different up here during the day than it was when we were looking. Yeah, here. but I, when I was telling Tyler when I got down there with him, I was like, dude, we're not in the wrong spot. I thought we were in the wrong spot. And then yeah. I heard him gobbling. I was like, well, right. <laughs> yeah. the, only, the whole reason I knew we were in the right spot is because there's a slanted pine tree somewhere and I was looking at uh -huh. it. I was thinking, I, I remember that from yesterday. Uh huh. Yeah. It was like this dead. He got down from two hens. Got down, you see the biggest tree, mm -hmm. the one like right kind of behind them. it. I'll watch them all yeah. down. Oh, y'all watch them all? Uh -huh. I didn't know how far y'all were. Y'all's yelps weren't very loud. It's just because we were. I mean, but y'all were way down in that hill and the wind was blowing 100 miles an hour up here. I mean, that's crazy that you could barely hear yelps because I was getting. I could hardly hear them. I was getting kind of down on it a couple times. Dude, could you hear me whistling on it? Mm -mm. When he dude, he gobbled, I would just barely. But every time I could hear y'all, he would gobble. Every time I'd whistle, he'd, he'd gobble. I just brought it back right here. I thought it'd be a sweet picture. Oh, yeah. On the picture right here. For sure. Well, that's a plan, dude. Y'all here one day. One freaking day. They killed a turkey? They killed a turkey. I was probably good. That hill right there, my legs, my cat, my dude. quads are cramped. I was oh, walking yeah. out of that thing at dark, and I was thinking this whole time. Y'all about to see. Gosh. Dude. Oh, I smoked him. When I shot him, it was over. He didn't move much. Yeah, I bet he didn't. That three and a half inch Tuxin ate him up. Dude. He popped around a little, but he was done for. What a turkey, dude. Good shot. We didn't, we were like, who were we looking Was that Drake or not? Oh, I think I was driving far away. I was way back. I was a long way back there. Yeah, it. it I was probably like, yeah. Oh, okay. I was probably five or six hundred yards that way. Really? Yeah. I mean, I made a big circle. So 
So the hell? did you, you shoot this way? Like no, I shot that way. Oh, so he had gotten through what? Have you been walking with the last 20, 30 minutes? Oh no, he didn't gobble. Probably 15 minutes. And the last time he gobbled was probably long ago. Ten. He gobbled right. There. I mean, yeah. I was like he was right here on this side. I was right down the he other probably side. Probably gobbled five, minutes, six minutes. Wait, he was on you. Were, so he was on this side. Yeah, he was it, on this side when he gobbled. And I was you were really there. like right on the other side of this ridge. So I went all the way around the back and stayed on the back side of that ridge. And because I knew they were here, but I thought they were coming back this way because the hens worked this way. Yeah. And I came over the hill and they had already made their way back down. And then, like I said, he was hanging out 30 yards behind him, and I knew that I could try and get close to him because he was, he was so far behind. Well, down low this turkey, was it? Two quick two inch birds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'd be driving up here to the game and fish and get a new world, a new <laughs> record. Sweet, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad that happened. Oh, yeah. You can't beat that. What else do you do when you're tagged out? You come help your buddies. I enjoy it, man. Got up at 3.45 this morning to come help those boys out. We roosted them last night. I didn't have my video camera last night, but we crawled up here to the top of this hill, right there in that bowl that where we were in. Hit a call last night and he got one. So we came up here and pegged him in the tree and knew with, you know, within 30 or 40 yards of where he was. So they split up and so these guys split up. I went with Tyler, the bigger guy, and Drake went up here on the top of the hill and Drake picked the he picked the right spot to be this morning. But uh what a hunt. He was gobbling good this morning. He gobbled everything I did. I was whistling at him. It's barely calling to him. He was gobbling. He was fired up. The hens never said a word there. Didn't even know there was hens there until they started flying down. But it's absolutely beautiful out here. I wake up for 345 to see that any day. Wish I could have gotten it on video, but y'all heard how he said he he had to run off and go over the hill and you know whatever it is what it is we got a dead bird that's all that matters but we got to get one more after i help we get the, we get his bird then i'm gonna head to montana and try that out luck's been going pretty good so <clears throat> we'll keep it going so y'all stay tuned